you got the temperature outside, right? Here it's so hot, I'm burning. Now, we had the beautiful lamb shank in the pan and I seared it on both sides. This is going to be cooked in a pressure cooker. Why? Because this lamb shank would take you anywhere between two and a half to three hours to cook. This is a 12 ounce to 14 ounce lamb shank. Middle Easterns love lamb. We all love, love lamb. But we usually deal with what kind of lamb, usually the rack of lamb, usually the lamb loin. This baby needs to cook for a long time. Everybody with lack of time, this is a perfect dish to make at home in a slow cooker if you don't have a pressure cooker. I'm adding a little bit of onion in that same pan that we cooked the lamb in. Why? Because we want to take all of those yum yums and create a manager flavor together. The next thing is going to be some carrot for sweetness. And after our carrots, we're going to add some celery. These three best friends are called mirepoix in French. We have the same thing in southern cooking and we call it the holy trinity. What do we do in that case? We take out the carrot, we add bell peppers. Bell pepper, celery, onion, that's the holy trinity. This is a mirepoix. Another very, very important step is right now I'm gonna add the tomato paste. I'm not gonna add the tomato paste later in liquid. Why? Because tomato paste is very high in sugar content and we wanna caramelize that sugar and create an intense yet complex uh, layer of flavor. People are gonna taste your sauce and go, there is something I can't pick up, what's that? That's the caramelized sugar within the tomato paste. We have a beautiful marriage of flavor here. Mint leaves, whole, why? Because the pressure cooker is gonna break them up. One bay leaf, whole, and we're gonna add some turmeric. Complimentary supporting cast of this plate is going to be ginger carrots and saffron risotto. Turmeric, saffron, again, a beautiful combination. I'm gonna make that risotto cake for you, for all of you every, from start to finish, so you see what I'm talking about when it comes to risotto cake. Look how quick, this is real time everybody, look how quick this is done. Now we're gonna take what? We're gonna take our beautiful lamb shank, put it in the bottom of this pan, and we're going to take some red wine, and we're gonna dig, oh my God, I wish all of you were with me, it's so beautiful, the aroma, the flavors are just magnificent. Then some Marsala wine, which is made in the village of Marsala, or a small little town of Marsala in Italy. And when you're pressure cooking, you need to use three to one ratio of water. That means three times the amount of the ingredients that you've used. Here I have enough liquid. Oh, where are you people? Why aren't you here in the studio? Why don't you have smell -a vision That's what you need. It's beautiful. Now we're gonna take some chicken broth. You do not wanna use lamb broth because it's very intense in flavor and it's gonna give you that gamey flavor that you do not like. So chicken broth or chicken stock. By the way, you gotta go to my Facebook, um, uh, befriend me on Facebook and win one of these pressure cookers. I'm gonna tell you what this um, question is in the next segment. So stay tuned and make sure the Facebook information is on the screen. One more thing, this baby cuts your cooking time by three times. If it takes three hours, we're gonna be done in 45 minutes. So the last segment, you're gonna see this whole thing done. And the next segment is the risotto cake. Where are we going right now? Where are we going right now? Love you. Britt, take